So one Saturday morning, I was taking a leisurely stroll at my local park, you know, just enjoying the flowers, the calm breeze, and the, the chirping birds. And you know, at that moment, I had a sudden realization. I'm probably gonna die alone. T to be honest, guys, I've been having a lot of trouble with relationships. Like I rush into things with someone who I don't really connect with just because I'm lonely. You know what? I'm done. I want to work on being patient and forgetting everything I just said. Uh, someone finds me attractive. Uh, never mind. Uh, you know, let's start the video. Let's start the video. How to, how to first date. Now, a lot like happiness and Little Debbie Oatmeal Cream Pies, your success needs to be bought, more specifically at your local Walmart. And to start, we need to address the first action that overwhelms me the moment someone shows interest in my face. Stalking. Internet stalking. Big difference. And not a big enough difference, and no one's sure. But what a lot of people don't know is how to properly stalk. See, the term stalker, or corny stalker, is derived from the word corn stalk, as back in the 18th century, single men would hide behind them to spy on the women they one day hoped to wed. Now, times have obviously changed, because that's pretty illegal, but these days, if you just reach into some regular corn, you're likely to find, ah, yes, an, an Android. This one's an S6, and it's a little crack, but it's not Sprint, so it should work fine. And as you can see, you should have all your crush's info for proper stalking, so that's a fun little tidbit. Now, eventually, you'll work up the nerve to ask this person out on a first date. And chances are you'll be expecting this to be a magical and fulfilling experience. So it's best to pull that bandaid off now. So what we're gonna do here is take these, yeah, right there and just and leave them there. You can't turn back, just leave them there. Now, when meeting them for the first time, it's pretty common to have last second doubts. Like, what if she turns me down? And why did I leave the house? Which are legitimate questions I avoid answering. But we should still try to see things through and handle ourselves. Uh, however, by looking at my sweat-soaked palms, I won't be handling much of anything without seeming like I'm suffering from a gland condition. So we'll need something to help with our courage, we'll test our metal. Or buy our metal. No, 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 no. Ah, there we go. Yep, and you just, uh... You know what, I got a, I got a good alternative. So after you successfully avoided covering this person in first date anxiety sweat, despite what venue you're at, the main thing that will determine if things will be successful is the conversation you have. So it's good to never run out of things to say, which I have. I also have no money. So let's go load up on some conversation topics beforehand. Okay, I couldn't find a pleasant things to say to her, Ben, but I did find a firm and super firm things to give to her, Ben. But let's just, let's see. An excuse. Um, if things aren't going well on a first date, a lot of people want to give them this, even though it's not believable. And that's pretty dumb. Just wait three months into your relationship to give it to her, and it'll make a lot more sense. Let's see what other super firm things we can give her. Ah, see, this is really good. Uh, giving her the, the devotion she needs is a good way to bounce this back. Oh, there's one more thing in here. That's pretty elaborate. Oh, and that reminds me. Uh, just to be thinking ahead, it's a pretty safe and common practice to get protection. You know, just in case things turn around and uh, we end up getting a little further uh, than anticipated. Ah, yes, here we go. So you'll just want to grab this emotional wall. Okay, so uh, hopefully that will be enough to save this date. So it's time to see our progress. So what you want to do is pick up a lighter and want to check to see if we've made a spark. So, as expected, we've pretty much blown it, but since I've already paid for both of our dinners, I'm willing to invest a little bit more time to see this spark. And usually giving her a couple things will make it happen. Like this, uh, some of that, some of this. And like that, you should have nothing. That's not good. All right, so at this point, we have two options. We could either A, let this go and try to let this date end with a little dignity and stop rushing into our relationships, or B, not give up on the one person that thinks you're attractive because you're lonely and don't typically even get this far. Y'all really thought I was gonna keep trying when there was nothing there. See, I stopped trying to make things work and now I'm trying to take things slow. See, I'm trying to learn to be patient and never mind, a Tinder match, uh, someone thinks I'm attractive, uh, gotta go. What's up, y'all? Oh man, it's been a bit. Uh, yo, if you like the video, like the video, please like the video. It, it lets me know that you really like what I'm doing here and that the series is, is working and whatnot. So please like the video. And tell me in the comment section below if you guys had some uh, interesting first date experience or just you know dating experiences in general. I'm really curious. Uh, <laughs> what else? Uh, hey, make sure you hit that notification bell so you know you can get this uh, Kurt Ritchie goodness whenever you want. Yeah. Also, yeah, but um, make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm sorry about that. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Damn. 
Bro's like 10,000 subscribers. 10,000. I'm eternally thankful for you guys for 10K. Like, it's crazy. I'd love to hit it by August 7th, but we'll see. I might do a Q&A, but we'll see how it goes. Make sure to like, share, subscribe.